I'd like to organize something called sponsored editing of Wikipedia articles. This means paying people to edit Wikipedia articles. And I'd like your social support while I do this and contribute to the guidelines that regulate what it means to do this. How do you do? My name is Lane Raspberry. I'm Wikimedian in residence at the School of Data Science at the University of Virginia. I've been editing Wikipedia since about 2004, regularly since about 2008. And I've been doing Wikipedia professionally as a full-time job in this Wikimedian in residence role since 2012. I've thought a long time about what it means to be paid to edit Wikipedia. There's a discourse on Wikipedia about this. It's paid editing or conflict of interest editing. That's how most people enter the conversation. I want to address that and I want to say what's different about what I'm proposing, which is I'm, I'm at a university and I'd like to pay students to edit Wikipedia articles. And I, I'm saying that this is different from the paid editing conversation that currently goes on. So what, what is the paid ed editing conversation that's been going on in Wikipedia for so many years? Uh, first, let me say that Wikipedia has logged hundreds of thousands of problems with paid editing. And in every one of these complaints, they, they are in fact problematic. There's guilt there. There's people coming to Wikipedia engaged in misconduct, engaged in promotional activity. What they're doing is promoting a, a product in an organization or advocating uh, for something inappropriately related to a person, saying that they're an entrepreneur, a philanthropist, or listing off their accomplishments in some way. It's always a marketing or promotion. There's tens of thousands of Wikipedia editors. I'm talking about the volunteer community that regulates the content in Wikipedia who are familiar with this conflict of interest editing. And these people, thousands of them, tens of thousands are aware, thousands of them regulate this activity in notice boards and complaint boards. They observe this every day that this kind of inappropriate activity happens in Wikipedia. I don't want to do this kind of editing. What's different about what I'm talking about is instead of doing anything related to a product, I want students at the university to edit articles that no one could obviously relate to any product or cause. That is, academic subjects, things that the students are researching or knowledge that the university has. In Wikipedia, there's a concept called vital articles, the articles that all encyclopedias should have. And these are the kinds of articles that I want my students to edit. Maybe not off the vital articles list, but if you're a Wikipedia editor, you know that there's also something called wiki projects, which are subject matter communities that care about a specialized field. And there's topics in specialized fields that may not be on the vital articles list, but they're important if you want to talk about a certain topic. Like the vital articles may be a set of general knowledge, but if you care about medicine or you care about software or you care about certain aspects of politics, then there's certain concepts which are one needs to have access to in that field and that students study at university. And that I think students can build out if they get certain kinds of support. So the problems with paid editing uh, is that the content is unwanted. There's not actually readership going to these Wikipedia articles. It's an advocacy of the person who's, who's paying for it. And I feel that there's sponsorship around that can come from either the university itself because the university is trying to promote expertise or, or public outreach in a certain field. Sometimes this information can come from nonprofit organizations who also have sponsorship money. That is the nonprofit organization or foundation's goal is to educate the public in a, in a certain way. And they already have communication investments to get this information out in other channels. And Wikipedia would get, be a good value for such organizations to, to sponsor in the same way that they sponsor Twitter and YouTube and the production of websites and outreach through uh, traditional media. There's also to con consider students already edit Wikipedia. There's something called the Wikipedia Education Program. The Wiki community has complaints about the Wikipedia Education Program, typically because they say that students aren't engaged enough. The way the Wiki Education education program works is that professors in a class, they'll assign students to edit Wikipedia in replacement of a course assignment. So students aren't getting paid traditionally in the Wiki education program. And the feedback from the Wikipedia community is that when the assignment is over, the students haven't done enough or 
the students do the minimum for the assignment and they don't do any more. And what I'm suggesting is that under certain circumstances with appropriate management, if students were paid uh, as a research project to look up certain topics in the library and then edit Wikipedia with money compensation being paid, paid from the university, then they could get further in some cases with some management than volunteer students who are participating in the Wiki education program, editing as a class assignment rather than as a, as a part-time job. The reason why I want to put this forward is because if I organize such a program, I don't want to face the thousands of Wikipedia reviewers who are doing an excellent job of policing paid editing and face the same kind of criticism immediately that has worked so well for all the paid editors for 10 plus years in those hundreds of thousands of problems that have consistently been unwanted content in Wikipedia. Yes, I, I want to pay students, but I feel like we should use a different term than paid editing for this kind of activity, which is why I say sponsored editing, so that no one connects it with paid promotional editing, which is so often about a product, an organization, or a, a CEO. For this to work, there needs to be guidelines in place. I don't have all the answers for what this should be, and I'd like to collaborate with the Wiki community to develop these kinds of guidelines. But some of the guidelines that I can think of that would reduce bias in this case are the following. One, I wouldn't be telling students what articles to edit. They would pick their own articles. I am imagining myself curating a list of articles. So I could say, pick something from this this set from this wiki project, or here's a curated list that I have, or let's talk through what articles you're going to edit. But whereas in the paid editing field, the marketer tells a Wikipedian you edit about this product, I would be saying here as a cohort, we're all going to edit articles on this particular, in this particular subject matter field, and the students could get to pick their own articles. I also wouldn't be directing the students about what sources to cite. I would tell them, go to the library and find the best available sources that you can find or talk to experts at the university, ask them what the best sources are. So I don't know exactly what the students would be editing, which is, would be a difference between sponsored editing and paid editing. Another thing that would be different between sponsored editing and paid editing is that this wouldn't just be a Wikipedia editing experience. There needs to be a research experience for the students in this. And we would be looking at Wikipedia more broadly. I would direct the students to maximize communication impact, think about how to make the world a better place, get information out that's important. So we would be doing things like looking at the available library resources, thinking about what information gaps exist in the sources they cite, what's problematic about going to a university library and bringing an academic perspective into articles as compared to going, going to other sources, which they might be able to do or they might not be able to do. University has certain bias that the students are going to bring into it because they're at a university. I would also want them to look at things like article traffic, go to where the readers are going. That is, if we know that Wikipedia readers are interested in a certain topic, but no one's editing that topic, or there's problem templates, like this article needs to be updated, or this article relies too much on inappropriate sources, they could correct these kinds of things and be conscious of that, rather than me trying to orch orchestrate, or the person who's, who's funding this, to orchestrate all these kinds of things. I can think of a lot of things that would go wrong with this. If you're the kind of person who would be listening to me right now, I bet you can think of things that can go wrong with this kind of scheme too. New kinds of ab abuse can come up. Uh, certainly, people who are trying to sell a product could say they're not doing marketing, they're doing sponsored editing somehow. I don't, I don't want the old kinds of problems to creep into a, a new financial scheme. Also, different people can manage students in, in different ways. Uh, some students are, some universities have the capacity to pay students more than other universities. And I don't want this to be an opportunity just for rich students at expensive universities and to leave out students who don't get paid or introduce bias where the person who has the more, most money or the field who has the most money gets access to support for developing Wikipedia, and that just exacerbate the information gaps that we already have. My wish is that 
since we know that we have this list of vital articles and these wiki projects with backlogs of problems and we don't have a plan in sight to recruit new editors to in sufficient numbers to address all these problems. We know that we've had long-standing problems in, in Wikipedia that have existed more than 10 years, and we just don't know where we're going to get the flood, flood of new editors to, to manage these, these kinds of things. I'd like to look for new models for university partnerships where this is decentralized. You could have every university using some of their communications budget from research to develop critical Wikipedia articles to share information from universities, which are expert organizations on many topics. This is this is what I would like. And since I know that universities already spend lots of money on this, I know there's there's money out there. I wish that it could not be a missed opportunity that if money's circulating in the media ecosystem for seemingly in, intentionally benevolent purposes, to increase access to knowledge for all kinds of people in underrepresented topics. I want to lower the barrier so that instead of approximately zero of this money getting into the Wikipedia ecosystem, that we have some ways to get some of this money. I do think the Wiki community itself should regulate this kind of activity, but I'm throwing it out there that as a longtime Wikipedia editor and someone who's been in the sponsored Wikipedia space myself in a role called Wikimedian in Residence, which is m much more expert than I'm imagining of undergraduate student research experiences. I just wish that these kinds of expert and cultural and institutional partnerships could expand and we get more support for more people to improve more of the, the content gaps. If you have anything to say to me, I'm available, but the best place that you could have this conversation is in Wikipedia discussion forums themselves with other wiki editors, because that's where the ethics and values originate, form, and develop. And I encourage you, if you have anything to say, to go to the wiki forums and discuss this. Thank you very much.